Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to the Jonas Club Management Lessons Management webinar. So this is going to cover the Lessons Management module of the Activity Management Suite. Uh, just a couple of things to get through before we get started. Um, the phones are muted, so your phone lines are currently muted. This is just to minimize any background noise throughout the presentation. If you do have any questions, please go ahead and use the chat box or the Q&A box. You can get to those by hovering your mouse at the top of your screen. A little toolbar should pop down and then you should see a button that says chat or a button that says Q&A. You just click on that, you'll be able to contact me directly. Um, I will try to answer any questions when I see them come through. If I do not see them or if I feel that they're not appropriate or um, relevant to what we're talking about at the time, I will save them for the end. So it's going to be about 50 minutes of information with 10 minutes for questions and answer. A copy of this presentation will be available, the PDF slides will be available on jonasupport.com under resources and training where you signed up for this webinar. If you go to the very bottom of that screen, you'll be able to find the PDF of these slides. And a video will also be available on, on the same website, jonasupport.com, under resources and training, and then under the video library. So this presentation is being recorded. If when it comes to question and answer time, you do not feel comfortable asking your question through the recording, please go ahead and use the chat box. I will not use your name when I go ahead and answer that question. So what to expect from this webinar? Webinars are just to enhance your knowledge of Jonas. They're not to be taken in place of regular training. Um, we do expect that you have a base knowledge of Jonas and also the activity management suite before you take this webinar. Um, and again, it's about, it's about an hour long, 50 minutes of information with 10 minutes for question and answer. This module is fairly simple, so we might have a little bit of extra time for questions if you have more questions. The lessons management, what is contained in this webinar, first we'll go through some of the setups. So we'll set up in the Jonas core program, so your Jonas club management software as well as the setups that you need from the Jonas Activity Management software. We'll go through some processing, so how to book a lesson and also how to book, how to build them. And then we'll go through some of the available reporting to you. So starting with our setups, um, the first thing you need to do is add an integration item to your activity management. So that's under system administration integration. And the integration is just how you get things that are set up in the Jonas core program. So your POS items, your sales areas, your general ledgers, over to the activity management program and vice versa. You just need to set one up for the activity of lessons management. Um, and then choose your company, the partition, and the sales area that you will be using. Once you get that done, you will have to go into activity management and set up what we call an activity type. So this will be under system administration and then click on activity types. So you need an activity type for lessons and you'll want one for each type of lessons that your club does. So you have your golf lessons, your tennis lessons, you might offer personal training, um, any kind of one-on-one -on -one lesson like that that your club offers, you'll want to make sure you set up an activity type for that. So these activity types are where you decide whether the activity can be booked online, if there's any rules for advanced booking, so maybe you can only book two days before, um, any parameters for guests, so if members can actually bring guests or if they can't bring guests, and also the hours of operation, so when are these activities or when are these lessons being offered. So this is what the activity type setup screen looks like. You can see activity types within the activity management program. They can be used uh, throughout a couple of different modules. So you can use them in court booking, you can use them in events, you can use them in class scheduling. And there's also a tab for lessons management, which is what we'll go over today. So under the Lessons Management tab, once you've given your activity a name, you do just have to check off that box that says this activity can be used in Lessons Management. Um, there are some of the parameters on this screen, so whether or not it can be booked online, if there's guests being allowed in Lessons, as well as any advanced booking setup, so if there's any restrictions on when they can book or how far in advance. Um, and then you'll set the hours of operation, so when are you offering your golf lessons or your tennis lessons. So this is the hours of operation screen, so once you click on that, it will pop up. Um, very similar to the other screens that you see in activity management for scheduling. First, you set your day range. So you can do this for a full year, or you can do it by season. So if you have different hours for different seasons, you can set that. So you can see over on the left-hand side, we've chosen to do a full year. So from January 1st to December 31st, um, we've decided to be open the hours that we've set over here on the right, which is every day from 8 until 6. 
you can edit those hours. You can avoid opening on certain days if your close, club is closed, for example, on Mondays. But you do just have to click and drag and actually set up your hours that you're available. Once you have the activity type set up, you can go. the next step will be to go to facilities. So this is system administration and then facilities. So every physical area that a lesson can occur in needs a facility. So that's every single studio room you might have, every court, every um, golf, if you have a, an area for your golf lessons, maybe a simulator room or a putting green, make sure those are set up as facilities. So once you get your facility list open under system administration and then facilities, so just click on new, give your facility a name, and then head over into the lessons management tab, which you can see down at the bottom of your screen, and just make sure that your activity is checked off as eligible for this facility. From facilities, you'll need resources. So resources are equipment that's used with your lessons. So this can be anything from ball machines to personal training, mats, weights, balls, TRX equipment, anything along those lines. So you'll need to set up any resource that will be used with a lesson. So again, it's system administration and then resources. Click on new, give your resource a name or make sure you're telling Jonas what it is. Um, you can also set resources to track. So you can say, well, I only have five available at the club. I wanna track, so five are available. As those resources get booked, you will not be able to book a sixth resource for the same time slot if they are all, all booked by the system. Um, then you'll click on the Lessons Management tab and just make sure that you check off this resource can be reserved for Lessons Management and which facility or which activity it's eligible for. So of course your ball machine is not going to be eligible for personal training. Once you have all of your physical club setups, you have your activity, which is the types of lessons that you offer, you have your facilities, which is where you offer them, and you have your resources, which is what you need to make them happen, you can go in and start actually setting up for the individual booking. So the first setup for that are the booking sources, and these are just for reporting purposes. It'll be under lessons management, booking source. And all it does is it tracks how members are making their bookings. So if you offer bookings online as well as in person, so make sure you have at least two booking sources, one for online and one for in person, just so that you know where the majority of your members are making their lesson reservations at. And uh, booking sources are just a description and it's just for you to track. There's no implication that doesn't change their booking at all. It's really just for your reports. The next setup you need under the lessons management module would be your cancellation policies if you wish to enforce those. So a cancellation policy basically means if a member has booked a lesson in the system and they call it to cancel, when you hit the cancel button on their lesson, it will actually bill them whatever rules that you've set for the cancellation policy. So if you do want to enforce cancellation policies, it does need to be set up here. You'll click on new, give your cancellation policy a description and then you can set the rules and the penalty for each for each different policy. So if you say, yes, you can definitely cancel, but it's going to, you're still gonna to have to pay us 50%, that's where you would set that rule. Um, if you do not wish to enforce cancellation policies, then you can definitely skip this step. You don't need to have a cancellation policy set up. The next step would be commission plans. And this is something that again is totally optional. It just depends on how your club runs their lesson, lessons department. Um, so you can set up a commission plan for each rule. So what that means is if you have some instructors that are making 50% on every lesson they give, some instructors that are making 100%, some instructors that are only making five or six, you don't wanna set up your commission plans to say, well, Tom gets 50, so this is, this is named Tom's commission plan. You wanna make sure that you're setting them up for each rule and giving it the name of each rule. So commission plans, you'll go to lessons management commission plans click on new, give your commission plan a name, and then you dictate the rules to so how much they get, as well as what category or what item or what service they get them on. So your golf pros, of course, will only get it on golf lessons, tennis will only get it on le tennis lessons, your personal trainers will only get it on training. So after those two setups, um, we do need to have two more things set up, and those are your department codes as well as your job codes. So this is, vitals so that you can schedule your staff and actually make your lessons available. So both of these things are located under lessons management. 
So department codes, you wanna make sure that you have a department for each, well, department of lessons that are offered and you can restrict facilities from here. So for example, if you have a tennis and a golf department, you can restrict your tennis department to only be scheduled for your tennis courts and your golf department to only be scheduled for your putting greens, your simulators, your golf course. And then you'll need a job code. So same thing under lessons management, this time clicking on job code. We'll have to create a job code for each instructor. So you can call, you can definitely have just one and call it instructor and then tie it to each department. Just necessary for scheduling. So you wanna make sure you have one that's relevant to each department, each instructor, so that you can schedule them and your members can actually book lessons with them. So this is the job code setup. So you can see I have fitness, I have lessons, and then I also have one down there for spa. Um, of course, I won't be using that in the lessons management module. So you give your job a quick access code, which is just a short form, and then a description. And then you just check off where this job code is being used. So you can see mine is checked off for lessons, and I've chosen it in my activity type of lessons. So coming out of the activity management program and jumping back into the Jonas Core program or your Jonas Club management program, you do need a couple of things set up to, in order to be able to sell lessons to your members. Uh, you need two things and they're both set up under the point of sale module. So the first one would be a sales category and you'll need at least one category for lessons that is checked off as eligible for activity management, lessons management. This category dictates what general ledger account the revenue goes to, if there are any taxes or service charges charged on the lesson, and also if the lesson does get sent over to activity management as eligible. So you wanna make sure those things are definitely set up. And then you'll head into point of sale system, system setup, sales items. And from there, you'll just have to create an item for each type of lesson that you offer. So it can be um, golf 30 minutes, golf 90 minutes, uh, tennis, 60 minutes, you can do personal training sessions. Any kind of lesson that your club offers needs to be set up as a point of sale sales item. So that's point of sale system set up sales items. Once these two things are set up, this is where that integration that we set up at the very beginning of this presentation comes into play. You'll have to run that integration to pull all of your sales items into the activity management system. Once they're there, you'll be able to review all of your sales items under lessons management sales items. And this is, there are actually a couple settings that you need to do from here as well. So each item needs to have a duration. So every sales item needs to, you need to tell Jonas how many minutes it actually is. So if you do offer personal training sessions that are 30, 60, 90, 120 in duration and your members get to choose, you'll have to set up a sales item for each duration that you offer. So you'll need a 30, a 60, and a 90. You can also set a minimum and a maximum of registrants. So if you're choosing to offer a lesson, you can say, well, it's only gonna happen if there's more than three people. You can also restrict it to say, we only have room for 10 or 12 people. You can also override any of the activity settings, so the hours of operation if you need to. Um, and you can also say which resources are eligible per class. So now we're getting into kind of the nitty gritty, setting up sales items for say a yoga class. Um, if you need maps for that class, that's where you would say these resources are eligible for this class. So this is what the sales item setup screen looks like. You can see each sales item has a quick access code. And then there's a lessons management tab where you'll flip over there. And it, you can tell it exactly, you can tell it exactly how long this lesson is going to be and if there's any resources attached to it as well. The next setup you need now that we have all of our classes set up is our staff. So the first thing you need is under lessons management and then staff groups. So you need a group per, per department. So we have already set up our department codes. Now we just need to set up the staff group that belongs to that department. Once you have that set up, you just have to go to the lessons management tab, check off can be booked for lessons management. And then you can go ahead and um, edit any settings there. So it could be something along the lines of the, this staff is allowed to manage their own schedule. Um, you can talk about the commissions here if the whole staff gets a commission as opposed to it just being specific staff members. Um, and then once you have a staff group set up, you need to set up a staff profile for everybody at your club. So every staff member needs to have a profile. 
And then in the Lessons Management tab of that profile, you can just have to check off can be booked for lessons appointments, and you can actually override any settings that you've done in the group. So it could be something like the commissions plan, is they receive a different commission, um, and it could also be their hours as well. So this is under Lessons Management Staff Groups and Lessons Management Staff. So one more step to be able to start using your Lessons Management Program. We've set up all of our facilities. We've set up our lesson types. We've set up all the individual lessons that we offer. We've set up our staff. Now we just need to schedule our staff. So you'll go to Lessons Management and then Staff Scheduling. Click on the Staff Scheduling screen and start putting in when staff are teaching lessons at your club. So it could be maybe you have a, a schedule that you publish and hand out to members and then they come and sign up for the lessons. Or it could just be their hours avail availability and they can get booked in for whatever lesson members might want from them in between those hours. So you'll schedule those staff so that they are they can be booked. So if it's a recurring lesson, maybe a recurring golf lesson that happens every Tuesday at 5, you would schedule that person every Tuesday at 5 for that lesson, and that's what actually opens it up to be able to be booked. So once you have your schedule in there, you can actually start booking lessons. So lessons management, lessons management, uh, it's the very first option in the top left corner, will take you to your main booking screen. From here, you can select the time, or you can filter by facility or provider to book the lesson for. And then from there, you'll choose what lesson is being booked and who is booking the lesson. So this is what your main booking screen looks like here. Um, you can see up at the top, it tells you the date, tells you the start time, and it also tells you the price. I've chosen my provider, so who's giving the lesson, and in this case, it happens to be me. Um, and then I've chosen my service, so I'm giving a 60-minute lesson to this person. Down below, you can see I have one member registered right now, and uh, there are some options there to add members or add guests as you need to. Also on this screen, you can see along the top are, are options for saving, deleting, setting a recurrence. So maybe this member is booking every, every lesson and it's a weekly thing for six weeks. That's where I would set my recurrence pattern so that I don't have to register them individually for every single lesson. And I also have my status button. So I have my cancel, my no-show, my check-in, and my uncheck-in. So if you are using a cancellation policy, you have to use that cancel button up at the top to be able to cancel that lesson. Um, and you can also check in or uncheck in members just for tracking to know who's here and who's not. And then we have our assign charges button, which is how you actually set who gets the commission for this lesson. Um, and then the launch POS, which of course does exactly what it says, will launch your point of sale system and allow the member to actually pay for this lesson. So once you get some lessons in there, you can start to look at some of the reporting we have. Uh, there are a number of reports available in this program, so the first one uh, that we'll look at is the Lessons Management Client Itinerary. You can filter this by the date, by the provider, by the activity, or by the booking type. Um, and it will give you an idea of the schedule, of the provider schedule for the date range. So myself as a provider, I would want a printout of this maybe at the beginning of every week just to get an idea of what my week is going to look like, what my hours are, what my schedule is, who I'm seeing. Um, we also have the same thing, but for clients. So this you can filter by member, by date, by booking or activity. And it just tells the member what, what schedule they have. So maybe they've signed up for lessons over the summer. Um, it will tell the member exactly what they're doing and when. So it's just a good printout per member of which lesson is available. That is actually all of the information I have for you today. I will open it up for questions now. Uh, just give it a, a couple seconds for the phones to kick in. Line unmuted. Okay, I believe uh, phone lines are unmuted now if anyone has any questions for me. Okay, great. Well, um, if there are no questions, I will stay on the line just in case someone's feeling shy. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining. Have a great day. Um, if you do have any feedback, it's training at jonasclub.com. You can email there. And the presentation will be available at jonassupport.com. 
That's jonassupport.com under the resources and training tab. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.